Okay, hi there. Welcome to uh, an economics essay walkthrough. We're going to take a 25 mark question on fiscal policy and look how to structure it. It's designed for students taking the Edexcel syllabus, how to uh, create a really good 25 mark answer. But hopefully those of you taking other exam boards with this is a similar core topic may find uh, some of the answers useful. So we're going to focus on the macroeconomic impact of tax increases on the UK economy. Here's the contextual background. Uh, the background is that in the budget of March 2021, the Chancellor announced a, a phased rise in corporation tax. So it's going to go up year by year from 19% up to 25% over a period of years. And also the, the government froze income tax allowances. So that basically causes fiscal drag. It means that people, if they're, if they're earning higher incomes, we're getting paid higher wages, they may well get dragged into paying more tax because normally the tax allowances rise in line with inflation. So those two tax rises are expected to raise in total about £25 billion pounds extra every year. There's also been a temporary increase in the rate of national insurance by 1.25 percentage points. Um, that's a one-year increase, but it's going to be replaced by a new health and social care levy from 2024 onwards, again raising... Um, significant sums and these tax rises along with others are going to take the UK tax burden to historically high levels from 33% of GDP in 2019 to 36% by 2026. The other context is that the government borrowed huge amounts in 2020 and again in 21. Uh, the government was borrowing about a billion pounds a week in 2019 but that was over 300 billion a year later, obviously the pandemic had a big effect there. As a result of that increase in borrowing and the fall in GDP, the national debt, which is the accumulative government borrowing not yet repaid, was 96% of GDP in 2021, up from 81% uh, a couple of years later, uh, a couple of years earlier. So here's the question: Evaluate the macroeconomic impacts of an increase in the tax burden on the UK economy. Now, Edexcel students, 25 mark question. You're looking to build two KA points, two evaluation points, and a final reasoned comment. So let's walk through a suggested answer. My first KA paragraph is that one possible impact of the, uh, the rising corporation tax, uh, they're putting that data in to get the application, could be to reduce capital spending by both domestic firms and also perhaps a fall in inward foreign direct investment. This is because, nice connective word, higher corporation tax reduces or lowers the post-tax return on investment, such as new plant and machinery and uh, building new factories. Assuming businesses will only go ahead with a project if the expected real return is high enough, then a fall in investment would lead to a lower level of aggregate demand, put the formula in there, which in turn will cause weaker economic growth and perhaps also hit productivity, since the economy might have a smaller and older capital stock, depreciating perhaps a bit more quickly, and which breaks down more quickly. So my argument there is that uh, higher taxes, corporation taxes in particular, could hit growth and productivity because of a fall in investment. And you might want to show an ADAS diagram uh, to show the effect of a fall in aggregate demand uh, but due to higher taxes. I might lose that either in the end of the first paragraph or the end of my, my second KA point. However, then so you start with a KA point, then you build an evaluation paragraph. Uh, however, many factors influence planned investment. It's not just the rate of corporation tax. Uh, other factors include the, the interest rate on loans, uh, the pace, the rapidity of technological change in markets and other tax decisions by the government. I'm going to throw in a bit of application here. The UK government, although the rate of corporation tax is going up, they've also brought in something called the super deduction. And that's a tax relief whereby for every £100,000 a company invests, let's say, in new hardware or new machinery, their tax liability is cut by up to £25,000. So quite a significant tax incentive that has been important for many small businesses. So my argument, my valuation argument, is if the economies continue to grow, if unit labour costs and the exchange rate remain relatively competitive, then nudging up corporation tax towards 25% might have little impact on planned investment because other factors drive investment. 
And I'll throw in the fact that corporation tax in Germany remains at 30%, which remains much higher than the UK. Third paragraph, my second KAA point, knowledge application analysis. A second possible impact is always good to go back to the question just to set up the answer. So a second possible impact of an increase in tax is a slowdown in consumer spending leading to a rise in unemployment. So my argument here is that higher taxes will perhaps risk recession, return to recession and, and job losses. The extract says that the freezing of income tax allowances will raise eight billion in extra tax. This will then reduce real disposable incomes of millions of households, which is the main determinant of their spending power. I bring in a concept here called fiscal drag. If you freeze tax allowances, the government gets more in tax because people get dragged into paying higher percentage rates of tax as, the, as their wages go up. And the jump in national insurance contributions mentioned in the extract is another direct tax on incomes paid by employees and employers. So a lot of businesses faced with this extra cost of production uh, may well look to control those operating costs by cutting jobs or perhaps cutting jobs and hours uh, for existing workers, which then again will take money out of the economy and reduce growth. However, in evaluation of that point, uh, the extract mentions the pandemic led to a fivefold increase in the budget deficit, uh, using putting the data in there, and the size of the national debts increased by 16% of GDP, so a little bit of manipulation of the data. Therefore, one might argue that a higher tax burden is needed now to help improve government finances so that in better shape uh, the deficits come down before the next recession. You need to mend the roof while the sun is shining, not when there's a, a storm. A higher budget deficit, unless it's addressed, a higher budget deficit and national debt going up can lead to increased government bond yields and higher taxes in the future, which could then damage prospects for investment and competitiveness. So the argument is, well, yes, there might be a hit to consumer spending and, and jobs, but actually this, these tax rises are needed to improve the government's finances uh, because the budget deficit and the national debt is, is at historically high levels. In an Excel a question, of course, you'll need that final reasoned comment. They're looking for that fifth paragraph in the answer where you say something, ideally something a little fresh. Don't just repeat points already made to bring out a conclusion, a reasoned judgment at the end of your, of your answer. Overall, uh, the UK government's decision to raise the tax burden seems, certain to me, to be a calculated risk uh, that the economy will be strong enough as, the, as we emerge from the pandemic and that households and businesses can cope with rising taxes without too much loss of spending power and demand. Some might argue that a rising tax burden is needed now to pay for NHS and social care spending in the post-pandemic period. Others believe... Uh, that there are alternative ways of raising the taxes. So the extract talks about national insurance and corporation tax and freezing of income taxes and things, but others believe that she should, we should focus on other taxes, uh, including a wealth tax, perhaps, or, 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 sorry, a windfall tax, a windfall tax on the supernormal profits of energy companies and also tough measures to address corporate tax avoidance. So instead of taxing incomes and instead of taxing jobs, uh, you should be looking at other sources of tax revenue coming into the government. So there we go. That was a walkthrough of a 25 mark question. Uh, we're doing quite a few of these videos ahead of the exams so this year, walking through some 8 and some 10, 12, 15 and 25 mark questions. Hopefully these are useful, particularly in giving you a little bit of a feel for the structure of an answer and how to build chains of reasoning into your answers to get great marks. Huge thanks for joining in. Take care. And uh, see you again sometime soon.